Hey everybody, welcome back to 5-9 Gaming. This is Varied Geek, and many of you are aware that Kentaro Miura, the author of Berserk, indeed did pass away on May 6th. We received a report on this on May 21st. So, we at 5-9 Gaming decided to do a, like, a look back at his career, at his work, see the things he inspired, and in general just give our proper respects to Mr. Miura. On July 11th, 1966, in Chiba City, Chiba Prefecture, Japan, Kentaro Miura was born. When he was 10 years old, he made his first manga titled Mu Ranger, which was published for his classmates and spanned over 40 volumes. He created his second manga, Ken En no Michi, which also known as The Way of the Sword, in the year 1977, which he used India Inc. for the first time when making it. When in the middle school, his artistic abilities grew even more, and he started to use professional techniques when it came to drawing. At the age of 18, he became an assistant to George Morikawa, also known as the creator of Hajime no Ippo. Morikawa quickly saw Miura's work and techniques and saw that he had promise, and let him off saying he had nothing left to teach Miura. While Miura was working on a manga titled Oro, he worked on a prototype manga called Berserk in Hakusen Sha's Gekan Komi Komi. His 48 page prototype came in second in the 7th Komi Komi's Manga School Prize. After this, his full serialization on the manga started in Hakusen Sha's monthly Animal House in 1989. In 1997, Miura got to supervise the 25 episode adaptation of the manga Berserk into an anime produced by OLM Inc., which then aired in that same year on NTV. Berserk also received a game adaptation on the Sega Dreamcast in 1999 titled Sword of the Berserk, Guts' Rage, which Miura also ended up supervising. In 2002, Miura received another second place in the annual Tezuka Osamu Kotro Prize for Berserk. In the year of 2006, the Berserk manga went on frequent and extended hiatuses. This ranged between monthly and then turned into an irregular serialization. In 2018, it had collected 40 Tankaban volumes. As of May 2021, Berserk had more than 50 million copies sell worldwide, including digital sales. Now let's talk about some of the things that Berserk itself and Miura inspired after the fact. In the game Final Fantasy XIV, the class Dark Knight was inspired by the protagonist Guts from Berserk. In that game, when news of his passing came in waves, thousands of players came together as a class Dark Knight to pay homage to Miura. Another famous video game series that was inspired by Berserk is Dark Souls and Bloodborne. In Dark Souls, there are many references, armor sets, and enemy types that were picked and inspired by the series. Dragon's Dogma also was inspired by Berserk by even having two armor sets for both protagonist Guts and antagonist Griffith. In the anime manga side of the world, two famous pieces of work were very much inspired by Berserk, that being Bleach and Black Clover. In terms of Black Clover, you can see clear inspirations for the main character Asta being very much similar to Guts. When it comes to Asta, he is a person in the world that is filled with magic users while he is the only one that does not possess any magic of the sorts. This leading him to wield a giant sword, sound familiar, that can re negate any type of magic attack with the swing of his sword. Asta trained his body before this encounter and with his strength he can wield it with no problem. You also see some of his work being inspired by Berserk with some of the demonic undertones that Black Clover shows with the introduction to demons of another world. Since we're talking about inspiration, we did mention another manga, right? Bleach by Tite Kubo. Tite Kubo's main character Ichigo Kurosaki is usually the stoic, semi-loner type of character that ends up wielding a giant sword. And again, sound very familiar. In the manga, they even reference it being just a big, pitiful, useless sword, which is similar to one of the lines from the Berserk manga, where people are talking about Guts' sword. So next, from From Software's legacy, is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. The game's story is actually very similar to that of Berserk, especially when you're going through the good route. For example, Hero loses an arm to a strong enemy, much like Guts and Femto, it's fated to meet a blacksmith that replaces the arm with a prosthetic arm. Arm is weaponized for battle. One of the weapons behaves like a cannon. Father betrays the hero. You guys already know Guts' backstory. Hero kills the father. 
Hero will seek revenge on the person responsible for all the bad things done to him and his friends. That's very much like Berserk, at least the first, like Guts' initial motivation after the Golden Age arc. In the game, Wolf uses a counter called the Mikiri counter. And when done properly, not only deflects the attack, but he can lunge in the air and strike at the enemy. Another very, very, you know, unknown game that was inspired by Berserk is uh, Final Fantasy VII. The protagonist Cloud Strife shows very close similarities to the main character Guts. Of course, being that he is a loner, seeking revenge and wields a giant sword. When the game series Devil May Cry was going on to make a fifth game in their mainline series, they needed ideas on what to make. The creator of Devil May Cry went on record and say that all its tones and everything that went on within the game was inspired by the world of Berserk. While all these games and manga were inspired by Kentaro's work, we cannot forget about the other manga and other pieces of media that inspired Kentaro himself to make Berserk. One work that had the biggest impact on Miura was Buransun and Tetsuhara's manga Fist of the North Star. When looking at the manga Fist of the North Star, the series follows a wandering character getting into fights and beating the bad guys in a post-apocalyptic world. This theme is what inspired Miura to create the character we know as Guts from his manga. Which is very similar to Kenshiro, who is a wandering martial artist. Guts is more of a wandering swordsman looking for revenge. Another manga that inspired Miura was Violence Jack, created by Go Nagai. The Japanese fantasy novel series Guin Saga also played a role in the creation of Berserk. One amazing thing that not a lot of people know is that Miura also drew inspiration from a Western piece of media. One of the pieces of Western media was Paul Verhoeven films, while the other piece is the Hellraiser series makes sense <laughs> to be honest while some other things that did inspire him were shoujo manga ironically disney films and the works of hieronymus bosch's mc escher gustav dor and peter bruget much like how miura inspired all of the many pieces of manga and games without these works we probably wouldn't have gotten berserk berserk did end up having an anime adaptation that was released back in 1997 and ran into 1998 spanning for 25 episodes with a very awful cliffhanger then soon after, another game released titled Berserk Millennium Empire Arc Chapter of the Holy Demon War, which released in 2004. In 2011, they announced three Berserk movies to be coming out in the following years, which were The Egg of the King, The Battle of Doldry, and The Advent, which all covered the Golden Age arc. Then in 2016, another anime adaptation came out which covered the Conviction arc. In late 2016 and a little after the game, Berserk Band of the Hawk later released. And the next adaptation came out in 2017, which covered Falcon of the Millennium Empire arc. At the end of the day, the hearing of the passing of Miura came as a shock to not only the manga and anime community, but also to the video game community. Whether it's Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, Dragon's Dogma, Final Fantasy VII, Devil May Cry, his reach was far and wide. Without Miura, none of the games and stories we read and play would have ever probably come to fruition. It goes to show that one man can shape the way of others in a path of greatness. He may be gone now, but his legacy will still make ripples and waves with the many great creators and their hearts of inspiration will bring out the new age of dark fantasy. This is one man that may be lost, but he will never be forgotten. Rest in peace, Kentaro Miura.